Hi, welcome, bienvenidos. It's your girl, Yessi, and I'm back with another video. For today's video, I'm going to be playing with Pat McGrath's newest eyeshadow palette. This is her holiday palette, and it's called the Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, this is the palette right here. So I'm going to be showing you a glance of last year's holiday palette as well as this year's holiday palette. So, and also creating a look with it. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Alrighty, amigas, besties. So, like I mentioned, I got the holiday palette from Pat McGrath. Um, her whole collection was beautiful. Um, but she only released the, obviously, the palette, the large palette, and the, mas the colorful mascaras. But I don't wear a lot of colorful mascaras. I mean, I'm sure it would be fun, but I personally don't use them and I'm trying to be more conscious with my purchases so I just got the eyeshadow palette so this is the Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette that came out this year this is the packaging and then back here it tells you a little bit more um, on the eyeshadows and yeah I got this from the Pat McGrath website um, so that was the, the carton. This is the actual palette right here. So it's just like the outer packaging. And back here it shows you all the shades. As you can see. So if we open this baby up. It's magnetic too. It has this really big mirror. And just like last year it has these little strings that hold up your mirror right here which can be good and bad and this is the eyeshadow palette right here as you can see um and this is actually pretty colorful from what she came out with last year last year i think it was a little bit more neutral with a few pops of color this is actually a colorful palette for her um and you know i like it um now i know some people get overwhelmed with you know large eyeshadow palettes like this and so she broke it down into basically um three parts like for example if you cover all of this these six eyeshadow palettes are your neutral. If you cover these six and these six, the middle six shadows are your cool tones. And then if you cover all of these, then these last two rows right here are your warm tones. So I kind of like the idea. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a look using her neutrals, her cool tones, and then her warm tones. Um, so, and today, I'm going to start with her neutrals. So, but before we get into the eye look, I wanted to show you last year's holiday palette. So, this is the, the holiday palette from last year. And so, there, let's see, last year's is a little bit longer. And this year's is a bit wider. So, this is this year's and this is last year's holiday so as you can see last year's is a little bit longer now i'm gonna open up last year's last year's i believe was a little bit more um what's it called more wearable see there's a lot of your neutral colors with like certain pops of colors this year's i feel like she added so much color which is good because um, you know, there's a lot of people that, that actually like color. 
So here we go. This is last year's and this is this is last year's and this is this year's holiday palette. So as you can see, they're very different. I feel like this has more color than this. This is more neutral, if you will. But yeah, those are those two eyeshadow palettes. And now I'm just going to jump into the eye look. So like I said, I'm going to be doing three looks. Um... And of course, using her guide. So we're going to be using these two rows right here, which is her neutral section. So let's see. Um, I'm going to grab my mirror. I don't. <sighs> All right. So now I'm going to grab a blending brush. Let's see. Actually. So before we get into the look, let me just tell you what I have going on so far. Um, I added my moisturizer. Um, I also did my eyebrows. I lined them with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Ebony. And then I filled them in with her Dual Powder in the, in the shade Ebony as well. Then I carved out my eyebrows and primed my lids with MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And then I lightly set that with my translucent powder. So that's all I have going on on the eyes. And now I'm going to jump into the palette. So I'm going to grab a blending brush. I'm actually going to grab this Morphe Times Mickey and Friends MM5. It's just your typical blending brush. And I'm going to go into the color. Let's see. Desert Divinity, which is this brown right here. And I'm going to use that color in the crease, all over the crease. There's a little kickback in the pan, but not so much. And the color is going on beautifully. Look how beautiful this light brown color is. I am noticing you can most definitely build the intensity of the shade. As you can see in the pan it looks light but as I'm you know going in with the color it is actually getting darker so you are able to build your Inten you, you are able to build the intensity of the shade, I should say. All right, now I'm going to go into a more tapered blending brush. This is the Sedona Lace EB09. So as you can see, it's a tapered blending brush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the color Nightfall, which is this almost chocolatey brown this one right here this one right here and I'm going to apply this to my outer crease so here beautiful chocolatey color beautiful I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and blend all those edges out. Now, I'm only going to stick to that section. Just so you can see, you are able to create a look just using those two rows. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with her um, Intensify Glitter Glue. Yes, Intensifies Artistry one, which is this right here. And I'm going to apply this to the inner part and middle part of my eye. So this right here. And I'm going to be very generous because we're going to go in with the glitter. Okay. And for the glitter, I'm going to go in with the color. Actually, let's see. Um, what are these two shades right here? 
So this is Bronze Infatuation, this brown right here. And the bottom like gold color is Guilty Opulence. So this, it's almost like a dirty gold color. And then that's Guilty Opulence. And this is bron Bronze Infatuation. So uh, I think I'm going to go in with Guilty guilty Opulence, which is this like almost dirty gold color. And I'm going to use my finger with it. Wow. Oh, that's a pretty color though. Wow, that's beautiful. Can you guys see that? I'm going to grab a flat shader brush. This is the Sedona Lace 305. It's just a shader brush. And I'm going to grab that color, Guilty Opulence. And I'm just going to um, make sure like my edges are nice and sharp. I'm going to make it seem like we did a cut crease, even though we didn't. Just with the brush. That is beautiful. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, tapered blending brush, the one we used for the chocolatey brown, and I'm going to go into this beautiful green right here called Altered State. So I'm going to go into this green, and I am going to apply it to this middle part right here. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pigmented. I'm going to use this green like right here in the middle. Wow, you do see the pigmentation. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is so beautiful. Now, I'm not trying to take it up to the crease. So I just want to keep it here. That's such a pretty color. I'm going to go in with that chocolatey brown and I'm going to intensify this part right here a little bit. That is stunning. Look at that. How stunning is that? Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I am in love. Alright, now I'm going to grab my blending brush and just go over the crease. Because we don't want no harsh lines, okay? We definitely don't. Ah! So pretty. So pretty. Alright, so I'm going to do this eye and then I'll come back to show you what the eyes look like. Alrighty, so uh, this is what the eyes look like. Um, now I'm going to jump off camera. I'm going to um, finish the face and then I'll jump back to show you the final results. So uh, stay tuned. And I'm back. So uh, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I love it. <laughs> I love this pop of green with the like dirty gold kind of color. Um, for my inner corner, I used the other shimmer um, that was in that row. Let's see, uh, this one. I used this one, which is called Cosmic Champagne. Um, it's a little light, but um, I still like it. I like how everything goes, but definitely this like dirty gold with the green. Oh my goodness. I think it looks so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. So I am digging it. Of course, um, Pat McGrath formula. It's beautiful. They're soft. They're easy to blend. They're pigmented. You could build them up. This is a nice palette. If you're in the market, for another eyeshadow palette of course i'm pretty sure if you you know collect eyeshadow palettes i'm sure you have all these colors in your collection but like i said 
Pat McGrath, her formula is wonderful so yeah I, I mean I would definitely recommend but you most definitely could create this look using eyeshadows in your collection but yeah I, I really enjoyed this year's um, eyeshadow palette yes it's a little colorful it's it's definitely gonna be it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea but if you like color then this most definitely is going to be your palette um yeah i'm very excited i feel very inspired to do looks um with this eyeshadow palette i can already see me doing five six looks just by looking at this eyeshadow palette and that gets me excited <laughs> if an eyeshadow palette can do that for me i'm all in it and i already know it's worth it so stay tuned for the ride um, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing today's eye look. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you recreate it, inspires you to, you know, look through your collection and, you know, create this look. So yeah, that's all for me today. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.